now. Welcome back. Mike Beauregard is here with Sports Today. Hi, Mike. Hi. So, um, Don Whitman was in town today. It was a bit of a bittersweet day for him. Yeah, yeah, it's been a tough time for uh, Don and his family, but a real nice day today and a very uh, deserving event. A bittersweet day in sports today. It's no secret in this town uh, that Winnipeg broadcasting icon Don Whitman is battling cancer. Today, friends and colleagues gathered to honor a tremendous guy and a one-of-a-kind talent. Hi, everyone. I'm Don Whitman. When you've worked 52 years in broadcasting, you make a lot of friends. Today, dozens of them showed up in Winnipeg for the retirement of one of Canada's premier sports announcers. Don's a good friend uh, from my start with my days in Winnipeg, and uh, of course, he's he's well known. The voice is so familiar for hockey and other sports. Well, Don's a friend, you know, has been for an awful long time since uh, those days back in uh, the early 70s when I worked in the newsroom here. I really considered it an honor to be here today. He's uh, had such a wonderful career and represented our city so well across the country and around the globe. Well, this is quite true. And this Don Whitman has been a fixture on Canadian television since he joined the CBC in the early 1960s. He's called some of the greatest moments in Canadian sports history. Now it's Donovan Bailey trying to pick up runners. Donovan Bailey is putting on a surge. Adam Bolden in the lead. Here comes Bailey. He's got it. While he was best known as the voice of track and field and curling, he was adept at calling many other sports and highly respected in his field for his versatility. He is one of the pioneers of sports broadcasting. Uh, he's first generation sports broadcasting in this country. He, he was one of the first people on CBC Network Sports. He's done Olympics since 1960. He's done it all and done it over a long term and that is absolutely incredible. He has a wonderful memory and mind. I mean, he, you know, was almost photographic in what he could uh, remember about, uh, you know, an Olympic field and, and uh, players on a football field. Today, Don Whitman was officially inducted into the CBC Sports Hall of Fame. He was clearly moved by the occasion. Well, it really means a lot. It's hard to envision all these people coming to Winnipeg. I really. I'm overwhelmed. Mr. Whitman is battling cancer for the second time. He has a legion of friends in his corner. I've talked to Don a couple of times about his situation. Uh, he's very philosophical about it. He says it's been a great life pick. Uh, no complaints, no regrets. He said, uh, I've had a lot of good things happen to me. And he says, I'm just living it one day at a time. Anyone in this country who's aspired to be a sportscaster has learned from Don Whitman. He's an institution in our business, but has never let it affect the way he treats people. And no one will ever look as good in an orange jacket.